Welcome to our RFRS 13 revision lecture. RFRS 13 fair value measurement. It's important to know that fair value is a market-based measurement and not an entity-specific measurement. Therefore, we make use of two different concepts. The first one will be that we talk about observable inputs or information. And the second one will be non-observable. Now, if we think about these words, if we talk about observable information, do you agree with me that this means that there is information available that we can obtain supporting evidence for? We can observe the actual information. And when there is non-observable information, such as for identical assets or liabilities, we need to make use of a valuation technique to calculate and measure the fair value. Now guys, before we start with the details, I want to explain three different important concepts. The first is what is principal market versus our most advantaged market. And then the third one is what is our highest and best use. Now let's first have a look at what is our principal market. Now, the definition of a principal market is the market with the greatest volume and level of activity for the asset or liability. Now, what you need to know with a principal market is you need to calculate or determine the fair value first in your principal market. Only if your principal market is not available, you may use the most advantage market. Therefore, guys, I'm going to repeat this. You need to determine the fair value in your principal market. Only if your principal market is not available, you can use the most advantage market. Now, guys, important, when we look at our principal market, this fair value should exclude transaction costs, but include, important, include your transport costs. And guys, this is only important when we determine the fair value. Do not get confused with your financial instruments initial recognition. For now, what you need to know is when you determine the fair value based on RFRS 13, that this should exclude transaction costs and include transport costs. When you use the most advantage market, important guys, this should then include transaction costs and include transport costs. Okay, now let's discuss our highest and best use. The definition indicates that the use of a non-financial asset by market participants that would maximize the value of the asset or the group of assets and liabilities. I'm going to explain this by means of a basic example. In our example, we have an intangible asset that we are purchasing via a business combination. But this asset can be used by either strategic buyers or to by financial buyers. Remember, highest and best use will be used when we determine the fair value of our non-financial assets. Now, what is a non-financial asset? This will be our investment property, PPE, intangible assets, and so forth. Now, in our example, our strategic buyers indicate that the value that they will be willing to pay is 700000 Our financial buyers indicate that they will be willing to pay 800000 now, the highest and best use will then be the 800,000, and that will be the fair value of our intangible asset. Why do we need to calculate the fair value? Remember, RFRS3 indicates to us that when we purchase an entity through business combination, that the assets and liabilities should be measured at fair value. When an entity performs the fair value measurement, it must determine all of the following. One, what is the asset or liability to be measured? Two, what is the measurement 
three, what is the valuation technique? And four, the disclosure and fair value hierarchy. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the disclosures. Let's discuss assets, liabilities, subject to measurement. We need to look at the characteristics of these assets and liabilities, the condition, location, any restrictions, sale of use, and so forth. Now, it's important that the fair value transaction assumes the following. One, that this transaction is in an orderly transaction. Now, what does it mean orderly, guys? If we think about an insolvent estate, will this be an orderly transaction? No, guys, this is an insolvent liquidation sale. It has to be between market participants under current market conditions. Our third assumption, under current market conditions. And the price, important, the price when we determine the fair value in our principal market. The price should exclude transaction costs and include transport or when we determine the price in our most advantaged market it should include transaction costs and include transport costs then when we look at measurement immediately guys if you identify that there is a non-financial asset you need to know that you should use the highest and best use you will have to discuss the fact that you know fair value is a market-based measurement and not entity. And then you will have to discuss most probably the fact that it should be an orderly transaction, market participants, current market conditions. And then important, if it's a non-financial asset, you need to use the highest and best use. Now what happens if it is liabilities and the entity's own equity instruments the first question is is there quoted prices if the answer is yes and there is an active market there is quoted prices and you can use these prices if the answer is no you need to ask the following questions is there identical item held as assets by another party if the answer is yes then you can use the fair value of the identical asset. And remember that you will have to adjust your quoted price only if factors specific to the asset, but not to liability or own equity are presented. Guys, if your answer is no, important, you need to use a valuation technique to determine the fair value. And there is three main valuation techniques. The first one will be a market approach. A market approach, you will receive a market transaction, therefore quoted prices. And this will be identical or comparable assets. The next valuation technique is a cost approach. A cost approach reflects the amount that would be required currently to replace that asset. Therefore, we call this our replacement costs. Now, important guys, market approach. You need to immediately think about there should be a market transaction for identical or comparable assets. Now, a cost approach, you need to think about cost replacement cost 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 and the third valuation technique will be our income approach this is where we calculate a present value based on the information provided therefore we convert future amounts to a single current amount now if you think about this guys normally we will calculate present values based on a future value a discount rate and so forth Therefore, when they provide you with a question with all of this detail, you need to identify that there might be an income approach that you will have to follow. And then we need, we need to look at the disclosure and fair value hierarchy. And the most important will be the fair value hierarchy. Guys, you need to study this. I can't explain this in detail. This is what the standard indicates to us. 
if we have a market approach and we have quoted prices on shares, you need to know that this will be a level one disclosure. If we have quoted prices for similar inactive markets or quoted prices for similar identical in inactive markets, therefore, guys, identify the difference. We have similar in an active market and then we have similar identical in inactive market not active or when there is other observable inputs or market corroborated then we need to disclose this as level two therefore in your examples you should identify first is this a similar asset is this an active market is this identical is there other observable inputs? And then level three, when there is financial forecasts, historical volatility and adjustments to mid-market consensus, then you need to know that you will have to disclose this as a level three fair value hierarchy. Therefore, guys, important, this is theory. You need to study this. You need to know this. And you need to practice how to apply this on theory questions.